There are diagrams much like this one within the pages of every decent riding manual. But what does this look like in real life? It looks like this. One, two, this is a horse on contact, and three, this is a horse on the bit. So let's go back to the diagram. How does this happen? Don't look at the neck and the face of the horse. Look at his butts. It all matters what they're doing with their hindquarters. The horse, when he's going naturally, or lackadaisically actually, he's like this. He's not connected. He's like, la 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 la. Then the horse, with the rider sitting with a little more connection and having a little gentle connection to the mouth, we'll see a transition here, is just a tiny bit more organized. He looks to have a little bit more direction and rideability. Then, as the horse starts to develop within a proper training program, he starts to take on more weight with his booty and reach his hind legs further under himself to the target underneath his rider's butts, his precious cargo, in order to carry himself and it most efficiently. And because of this, his neck starts to lift and relax because it's not having any weight on it, so he gets taller and taller and more and more beautiful. But it all has to do with his hind end, not the mouth or the head. So here he is again. La 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 la. Here he is connected. And here's a horse on the bit. I'm going to show the diagram one more time. This is on page 82 of the Principles of Riding, which is the German Federation official handbook. You can find it on Amazon. I used one for like eight bucks. It's a very good, simple book. But now we have to talk about how to do all this. So that is how you can visualize or have the diagram come to life. And in a video soon, maybe this next week, I will illustrate the entire text that's on the page 82, not only the diagram, because I've been seeing that diagram since I was a little girl, but it's very hard to find it in real life, especially outside of Western Europe. And that is one of the things I want to help with. So we, you've seen what it looks like in real life, but next we have to talk about how do we do this. As a start, I think we better make sure that terms are straight, and that we're all on the same page with certain terms and definitions, even the term on the bit. Other terms we need to get very definite on are what contact is, defining the hindquarters, and the idea of carrying. The horse's butt has two separate forces, a propulsive force and a carrying power. The propulsive force is what sends him, who, what advances him on a line, but the carrying power his, is his ability to govern his own propulsive force, his own thrust. And this is the part that is very, very neglected most of the time. So we have to remember there's two forces, a propulsive force, thrust, or impulsion and a carrying power and that the carrying power governs the thrust. The horse governs his own thrust with his own carrying power. This is really how horses were made by their creator and how to ride them using, using themselves like this is very old information, very old knowledge. And it's been said over and over by horsemen through the centuries. But there is a quote that I think 
really says it well. It's like a motto. So I'm going to give you that motto. The rider trainer has achieved his aim and fully trained his horse when both forces of the hindquarters, the propulsive force and the carrying power, wed by elasticity, are fully developed and when the trainer can use and balance the effect of these forces exactly. So now I think you have a good picture of the basis of riding which is training and developing the carrying power of the horse's hindquarters so that he can govern his own thrust and follow our instructions. And we're going to keep going explaining how to do this in future videos. Until then, thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful. As we said earlier this month of July 2019, from now on, every video that we make will have a citation to a bona fide riding text. Horse training is a system and a language, and it has doctrines, and it's not complicated, and it doesn't take forever. We'll take you the right way, and you won't find it anywhere else right now. Thank you. God bless.